Hi, this is Jocelyn. Leave a message. Hi, Jocelyn. This is Dawn from Dependable People. I'm calling to see if you can work today. Call me at 664-297. Hi. Hi, I've got something for you. It's light typing and phones. It's a day advertising at 49th and Madison. Can you remember that? 49th and Madison? Uh-huh. How soon can you be ready? Ten minutes. All right, don't forget your timesheet. Okay, thanks. Bye. Did you sign Al's card? Hi, I came out here at 8 o'clock and I didn't see you. Have you been here long? No, I just got here. Okay. Follow me and I'll show you where you'll be working today. Don, I want you to sign. I it. Uh, signed it yesterday, Con. Uh, unless you want me to keep signing. I'm just glad you're not running a blood drive. Oh, you were Hey Al, Happy 35th, Don. <laughs> oh, Don, this is our temp. Oh, my goodness, I forgot to ask you your name. Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Don. Don. Jocelyn. Hi, Jocelyn. Hi. Well, I guess I better be getting back to work. Right. What is it we do here again? <laughs> the phones should be light today. I've made a list right here of a couple things to keep you busy. Now, let me show you the phones. It's a new system. This button here is Mr. Wheeler's line. This is Judy Glazer's line. If Judy's not in, you can reach her assistant by pressing the star key, then dialing 689. Now, to reach Linda Paul's extension, press 252. If Linda isn't in, you can reach Emily, and David Mossman is at 323, but he's on vacation in Puerto Rico. If you need anything, I'll be at my desk. Hello? Linda Pauls, please. Okay, I'll connect you. Can you hold? Sure. Hi. I just stopped by because I realized I didn't have you sign Al's card. He's turning 35 and we're throwing a surprise party for him today. Mm. He was the guy in the kitchen? a little older than 35. No, you haven't met Al yet. He just broke up with his wife of seven years. Al's great. He just needs the right woman to bring out all that hidden potential. Do you know what I mean? No, you wouldn't. You're too young. Jocelyn, you remind me of me so much when I was your age. You don't care about your appearance. You let your hair go all to hell, sitting there cradled in your own pain. You don't care about anyone. Did you sign the card? Hi, Rick. No, uh, I can't have it to you by then. No way. Um... Oh, hi, Connie. Look, I'm on long distance here. Can I? It's okay. I can wait. No, I don't think I'm being difficult. I think you're being difficult. Uh, this is going to take a while. Rick, I wanted you to meet our attempt. Jocelyn! Hi. Rick, I hid Al's gift in your office. What? It's in a brown paper box. Oh, here it is. Thanks, Rick. I'll pick you up at 10 to 5.
What do you think, yellow or blue? Uh, blue. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh, let it ring. I think this party is going to be very interesting. Ale's got a crush on me, and I've got a crush right back. We started here together nine years ago, and from the very beginning, there's been this chemistry. Of course, we couldn't act on it because he was married. So, so meanwhile, all, all the, the sexual, sexual tension has been building up. Just three, three days, days ago, I go into the kitchen, and I see Ale, and I just blurt out, Ale. Would you like to go out to lunch? And he says, I'd love to, but I've got a prior engagement. Now, he didn't have to say, I'd love to, right? Right? Mm -hmm. uh... Uh, hi, uh, Jocelyn? I I'm about to step out for lunch. Uh, would you mind proofreading this and, and giving it to Al? Sure. Where's his office? Uh, two doors down to the left. Hey, Al, that's your third cup. Hope you're not driving. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard about the weekend? No, has it been moved? <laughs> no. Yeah. No, it's supposed to be up in the 80s, like one of those summer days we keep hearing about. Uh, yeah, well, we sure could use some nice weather, could we? We sure could. <laughs> okay. Jocelyn. Come in. It's okay, it's okay. Come on, come on in. Come on in, it's all right. Have a seat. So you're the, uh, the new girl. Welcome. Jocelyn, right? That's a pretty name, Jocelyn. That is, uh... Oh, this time. I got this in the mail. I thought it would be, a. Uh about sailing, but uh, it's not. It's, uh... So, do you like it? Do you like it here? You're with us permanently, then? No. So you're temping? I always thought that would be interesting, temping. Things like, could you just give that a quick tie there, as tight as you can? Just tie that off as tight as you can right there. There you go, just give that a... Where are you from? Buffalo. Buffalo, really? I would spend a, one of your winters in Buffalo. It was quite a, interesting. Could you slap me? gift and cake. I'm going to hide it underneath your desk. Hey, Joss, come with me. I'm going to round everyone up. <laughs> Where is everyone? We should left an hour ago. Hey guys, where's Patrick and Susie? Where the heck is everyone? I know Susie had to go home and bring dinner. Uh, well, if you need the file, yeah, I can bring it over myself. Uh, does she need to talk to me? No. Don, where the heck is everyone? I hate to uh, break it to you, Connie, but bottom line, it's Thursday, and people want to hightail it out of here to get ready for uh, Friday. What? Well, if that's an emergency, then I'll be right over. Wait, are you going somewhere? Yeah. You're my ride! No! No one's going anywhere! Please! Let's just do it now. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. 
I'm just gonna throw open the door and we're all gonna rush in. you. It was Susie. Did Susie tell you? I bet Susie told you. I bet it was Martha. Right? No. Do you like my dress? You probably didn't even notice. Well, you got me this time. Can you believe this? Alice, such a coward. He once put salt in the sugar bowl and I'm sipping my coffee thinking, I wonder why this is so soft. This is Jocelyn, our town. <laughs> Who told you? Who? 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 